and welcome to CFC Fan TV. Now, as always, if you still like seeing us on your screens, please click the subscribe button. It really helps out when you do that. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it at the end of this video. Right, anyway, uh, we are back in European football, which I'm so excited about. It is the Europa League. But me and Rory take this competition very seriously, don't we? I do, and I'm sorry, because I know that the people who watch this channel religiously was, are not going to not gonna agree with us now, at all. Now, I was at the Amsterdam final back in the day. How long ago was that now? How many years ago? Yeah, so quite a few years ago now. And I have to say, the atmosphere in the stadium was, was great like no other. Yeah, it, it was, was it was, it was was amazing, and we all really, really, really wanted to win, oh, win that mate, trophy. When we did. header hit the back of the net, yeah, it's crazy. the place went potty. It yeah, was, it was, it was, it was brilliant. And it's a European trophy. We are in Europe again, so it's uh, nothing to not take seriously. And I, I, if, I suppose you have to be there to, to believe it, but it's... It's, it's true. It's a great, great competition. Absolutely, and I'm excited about this. I think that we've got a very kind group. You know, I don't think I'm we're going to have any trouble. And in I'm, the group. So, I'm Greek, and I'm so disappointed that I can't make it to this game. But oh, I am no. going to be watching it. Charlie Skillens. Char Charlie Skillens out Charlie's in Greece out now. He's been sending me pictures. Him drinking ouzo, sitting on the beach, loads yeah, of beer. You, well, no, I won't be doing ouzo. Very, Do very, you know very like? jealous. Very jealous. Ouzo's horrible. Um, uh, but yeah. <laughs> it's important that we get off to a, get off to a win. We need to get the three points here, and of I course, think we now will. let's well let's not let's not forget these are this is a much weaker team. It's not a team that we've we've heard. Of. So now uh, Charlie pronounced it Payok, which is total rubbish. It's called Pauk Salonika, I'm sure of it. Right, and um, it's a Greek team. I wish I was going. Like I said, I am. My whole family are Greek. I'm, I'm Greek, uh, but I will be watching on TV. Anyway, um, this game. I've been to many European aways in many competitions. We do struggle away from home in Europe. The, re the only one I can really remember us winning convincingly, even though I was very, very drunk, was our Schalke away back in the day. Well, I was in Madrid with you last year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, I know, I know, I know. But I'm just saying that this is this is the only one convincingly when we, we when we scored within the first like, right, two right, minutes. Right. Uh, otherwise, we don't really tend to do no, as well. I know so what we, you mean. Our, can... our away form in Europe hasn't been ideal over the course of a few years. But I'm convinced that we're going to win this game, and I really hope we do. I really want to win this trophy. I genuinely I do. do. I think well. it's a great route into the Champions League, depending on how the league form goes. And I think that we have a decent enough squad to rotate properly and actually launch a campaign for both competitions, the Premier yeah. League and the Europa League. Definitely. Now, we've picked a, a slightly weaker squad, obviously, uh, but you will see a few familiar faces in it. So uh, let's do our team sheet. So, uh, let's get to it then. Kepa is obviously in goal. It's Again, it's very important that he gets as much game time as possible because he is our newest yeah. long-term player. Yeah, I think, I think, do you know, I had a really interesting conversation in the pub. I was in the Atlas pub the other night after the, uh, after the football oh, yeah. and I was having a chat with a mate and he asked, you know, what, what do you think of the keeper? And I said, I'm not entirely sure. Like, I think he's had. I think he's played very well. I think that there's been opportunities for him to save things that he hasn't. I got a lot of grief actually on this channel where I said I thought he should have done better away at Newcastle. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to play him. I think he needs to firmly establish himself as Chelsea's number one keeper. Yeah, and also I think this is a European competition, and it will be. We're going to see a little more of what he can do. Maybe not so much in the group stages, but as we continue on. Absolutely. So Kepa's in goal. Uh, yeah, then we've gone with Zappa Costa. Zappa Costa at right back. Yeah. I enjoyed his cameo the other day. <laughs> yeah, isn't he funny? Up until the shot. Marauding. <laughs> Marauding. Yeah, no, but that's Turning what... Turning to Pele. I, I like Zappa Costa. I, I, I know he's not a fan favourite. I know he's not a first choice. I like him. I think he's more than capable of doing a good job in this game. I think more importantly than that as well, I, I like Zappa Costa and it's important to give him minutes. But most importantly, I think Cesar Aspilicueta needs a rest. I don't yeah. think he's been playing to his highest of capability. And therefore, I think that we need to use a game like this as an opportunity to perhaps let Aspilicueta not only not play, but if it were down to me, he would actually stay in London. Yeah. You know, completely yeah, rest. Yeah, good. Yeah, because we want him. We want, we want to get him and used Zap to the system. Exactly. And Zappacosta needs to, needs to play. So I think yeah. that makes sense. Uh, then we've got in the middle, Christensen and Rudiger. I'm thrilled to see Christensen back in the side. And again, I, I, I wish he was playing more games, but I think this is, it actually be a good opportunity to see well, if, this this, if, this is a, if this is a better partnership. Yeah, exactly. Well, that's why we've picked these two, because we think that for, the, for our starting lineup going into the most big games of the season, you know, we've got Manchester United and Liverpool around the corner. Mm. We have decided that our best pairing is, arguably, it's it's Rudiger plus one. So it's Rudiger plus yeah. Louise or Christensen. Yeah. So playing Christensen in this game is an opportunity to see how they work together. Yeah. You know, is it a yin and yang? Do they complement each other? Be good for Sari as well. For him yeah, to see that. Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe he'll see something that he actually thinks actually, you know what, that might be a better. Exactly, pairing. and it's an opportunity for Christensen to really stake his case for a, you know, proper, a proper, proper game, and and maybe playing against West Ham if he has a great. Well, game. I mean, it's obvious why why Sarri's chosen David Luiz anyway. He plays in an attacking style of football, and David Luiz is perfect for that. And but there, again, loads of reasons. You know, yeah. David Luiz is a great player, but I think these two deserve an opportunity to play together, and let's see how it goes, and let's see how 
Emerson Palmieri gets on at left back. Yeah, um, to be honest, I, I don't think I've seen too too much of, I don't think I've paid attention as much as you have to this left back because our focus has always been so much on Alonso and we've only really seen him make a few glimmers here well, and there. Do you know what? I'm, again, I'm going to get grief here, but I think it's important for me to state the reason that we've selected Palmieri and the reason that I was convinced that Palmieri was the right choice is because I want to see Palmieri play, but because, again... I think Marcus Alonso needs a break. Yeah. Marcus Alonso needs to put his feet up, have a have a midweek off. He's going to play a massive match against West Ham. You know, that game is going to be very spiteful, very venomous, and we need Alonso on form. So but you know what? I think here. although we've changed the back line quite a lot there, Emerson is a very contro- like a, a control player. So I, I'm not really. Good, too, I'm, yeah, I'm not. I'm not concerned about putting him in the team. I'm not worried about it. No, no, no. Certainly not. I'm not okay. worried at all about yeah. about Palmieri. I'm sure he'll live up to the challenge. Yeah. So then let's go for the middle. We've gone for Jorginho, Kante, and Barkley. Uh, th- that's a good pairing for me. I think when Bartley came on against Cardiff at the weekend, he did fantastically well. Yeah. And I'm pretty sure if Kovacic is a little bit injured, I'm not going to be. Pl- I'm not going to be taking the risk to start him in this game. <laughs> Absolutely, you don't risk Kovacic. No way, he doesn't travel. Not before West Ham. But anyway. I think I think you know we have to take this game seriously. And I think picking Kante and Jorginho, you know, two of our best midfielders, two of the best midfielders in the world. Mm-hmm. I think it shows quite how seriously we personally are taking it, and I think the club will. Chelsea as a club generally have a propensity to respect all trophies. You know, we've yeah. never done what Arsenal have done, uh, which is field a weakened team. We've never done what Manchester United have done, which is fall out of a competition. We have always taken every competition very seriously. We're very good at that. And, and I think that um, with that in mind, playing these two shows how seriously we will take this competition. Yeah. And I think that the midfield trio of Barkley, Kante, Jorginho is good. Yeah. OK, then. So then we're going to go for our front three, and that would be William, Hazard and Morata. Now, I think me and Roy are going to disagree a little bit here on um, who should be up front, but, you know, never mind, never mind. And you weren't happy with my selection of Hazard in this side? I wasn't. Listen, uh, like I say, I don't think we tend to do as well. I would love, I, I want Hazard on the bench, for sure. I don't want to leave him in London. I don't think the club will do that. I know it's our first game. I know it's an easy group. I know it's an easy stage for us. I know it's an easy game, but you never know what's going to happen in, in these away games, and they're going to be up, up for playing against us and they're going to put out a very strong team so I would like to think that Hazard is on the bench but if you want to put him in the first team then that's fine I have put him in the team and I'd actually be very interested to hear your thoughts on this but I think that Hazard needs to start for two reasons firstly he's on fire at the moment so don't drop a player when he's the best player in the world currently don't drop him let him keep finding that form let him play in this game and I'm sure he wants to play so that's one opportunity one reason why I think he should be taken off early if things are all going to plan yeah but that's one reason why I think we need to play him and the second reason um, and I think this is equally as strong is remember he had a rest he missed the first two games of the season yeah or well you know he missed the first game came into the second game so he's had quite a light start so he's just finding his feet now. He's just getting started. I know he's looking incredible, but he's just getting started. So let's let him keep flourishing, keep finding form, and who knows where we will be by the time we play Liverpool. Yeah, exactly. OK, and then we've gone with Willian. I'm actually really uh, proud of this choice. I think leaving Pedro on the bench is a very good idea. I think we definitely need Pedro's pace in a game like West Ham. But equally, I think Willian's goal that he came on and scored against Cardiff was in was just insane yeah. and I think Willian's record in Europe is also not saying that Pedro's isn't he, he performs outstandingly well uh, even yeah, against Willi- Barcelona William last season was, William was exceptional in our campaign last year I completely yeah. agree with that let's also remember though Pedro has won everything I know. Yeah, so, okay, so, yeah. so that, you know we're very sport for choice in that department I just think that William probably shaded it against Cardiff and he should be rewarded for that you know he played 20 minutes he scored the goal of the game and won a penalty so let's let him play in this game and it's going to be linking up with Alvaro Morata. Yeah, I mean, I would have gone with Giroud for this. I actually reckon Sari is going to choose Giroud for this. Um, I would have gone with Giroud just because I want to see him get a few goals. I don't know whether Morata's time. I don't. I think actually Sari changing Morata so early on and against Cardiff when Cardiff actually aren't the strongest team is a little bit of a sign that maybe he's thinking, okay, it's actually, with Giroud... Against Cardiff, though. Against Car- yeah, because Cardiff are going to defend resolutely. You're going to be playing with your back to goal. They're going to be deep. So you need somebody who's very, very comfortable with his back to goal. And if you're comparing Giroud to Morata, it's chalk and cheese, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but I'm, I'm not sure. I mean, listen, if Morata, can't, Morata needs to score... If we're putting him up front, if, if Maurizio Sarri puts him up front, he needs to score a goal in this game. 
Morata. He, he, yes, he has to score a goal in this game. It's going to be his easiest fixture all season. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yes. So far, I, you know, I, I now, I'm now of the persuasion that Olivier Giroud is our best striker at the club. I truly believe that and I will go out and well, say I mean, that. You guys comment below. Who would you rather put up front for this game? Would you have chosen Giroud or would you have chosen Morata? We've obviously gone Morata in the end because Rory's overruled me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, as usual. Uh, but have we got the team right? You guys comment below again. Let us know. I'm sure there'll be a few ifs and buts in there, especially along uh, around the Hazard subjects there. But uh, yeah, like I say, comment below. Charlie's going to be over there. He's going to be doing a preview and a review. So yeah, look out for that. And... Um, what well, score prediction, I suppose? Chelsea three, Pauk Salonika nil. Oh really? Okay, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go four one.